All right, before we start getting into the uh, setting up of the throttle curve, please do not forget to fix the screws here. Apply like Loctite here. Loctite again screws here. Now it's all fine. Then here. Of course, uh, don't forget to trim the edges here. This is not a large issue here, but especially here when you go across on negative pitch and also on negative cyclic, this you can see the small. Uh, this uh, there's an extension of the servo arm here. It actually goes and hits the uh, main gear. So be careful with that. For the uh, trim, trimming, I usually use a, a Dremel. It's got a kind of a cutting wheel. It's a grinding tool and also cutting tool. Frankly, I think if you have uh, the funds, I think you should actually go ahead and invest in a Dremel. It's a very good uh, tool. And what I will do is I will go ahead and trim this up and make it a kind of a nice small curve and check out when I give my complete negative pitch and also my negative cyclic at the bottom, especially with the elevator, whether this is going to touch. With this right now, it is touching. Once I cut it, I'm sure it, is, it, is, it will not touch. All right, let's go ahead and um, uh, do the throttle curves now. All right, we have come to the final segment and the last, last segment of uh, the build for the Hiller 450 V2. Now we are going to go ahead and set up the throttle curves um, uh, for the heli. Switch on the transmitter, go to the throttle curve, normal. Then um, at the low stick, it will be zero. This is where uh, this is at the point where the uh, ESC initializes. Don't mess around with it, let it be zero. At uh, the normal, uh, for the normal curve, go across to that is basically giving 25% of your throttle um, throttle stick. That is number one. Go ahead and increase it to maybe around 30. Mid stick, I'll keep it around to 60. Now, uh, position three. Position three where they actually the heli usually takes off that's close to about five degrees of pitch in fact uh, it uh, takes off between mid to the uh, that's number two to number three mid to the, um, uh, the three fourth part of the throttle stick i'm going to increase it to sorry where is that? i'm going to increase it to yeah it is Good enough. I think I'm going to keep it to 80 and all the way on the high stick, I'll decrease it slightly to 90. So this is my way, um, my way of flying. Now it could differ from others or uh, it's, it's a matter of choice. There's lots of information on the uh, uh, T-Rex 450 manual. You can actually go ahead and use this, but this is what I use. Now this is for the normal curve. Now let's go ahead and check out for the stunt curve. Stunt curve one and two, I keep it same. Now again, it's a matter of choice. You can go ahead and change it. Let's go to the low end position. Now low end position, increase it all the way. To 90. Then I'm going to come across to the mid stick. So, uh, point number one, that's a quarter stick. I have kept it across inhibited. Now at this point, increase it. That's a mid stick, increase it to maybe around 80. It's fine. Then this point is inhibited. There's a third and uh, three fourth of the stick and the top stick let it be on 100. Now this is what uh, uh, what basically does is when the heli is inverted the heli is giving across a negative 11 degrees pitch but you can see the throttle is almost close to 90. This is this point you can see it's 90. So actually the heli is hovering when it is inverted. So this is stunt curve one, stunt curve two if you want you can go ahead and Increase it all the way to 100. It's actually, you get a V curve. Okay. 
that is 200 come to the mid stick take it to all the way to 95 now again this is my way of flying this is for stunt mode 2 this is where you'll be doing a lot of 3D so uh, this is what it is it's close to a, uh, a linear that's a flat curve I just want to show it again this is what it is 95 this is inhibited and the high stick is 100 so this is what the throttle curve setting is all about now this finishes the entire build of the heli All right, as an in, uh, inference, just to take you through the highs and lows of the heli, let me just go a little bit wide here. The heli is uh, nice. In fact, uh, I'm quite happy with the heli. Made of good material, uh, carbon fiber, metal frame. The only issue that I have with the heli is the screws, especially, specifically here at the bottom here. And uh, also at this point where I had to change the screws here. So other than that, it's, it seems to be quite nice and uh, if I have the time, I will go across in a couple of days and do a kind of a small flight. Electronics also, I'm going to check out how the electronics are and uh, let's see. All the best to you guys.